Hello, uh, today we're going to see how to install cruise control and put a Rails project on there and take a look at the build. So first up is to grab cruise control from Ruby Forge. The project is called Cruise Control RB. Bring that up and uh, just go to the download page. You'll probably just want to get the latest version. The current version is 0 0.5. So I'll download that and uh, get it unzipped. Okay, so here it is, uh, Cruise Control RB 0 0.5. Um, this is all that comes with it. We're actually going to go and uh, go into that directory. And the first thing to do is actually add your project. So, Cruise, add. Uh, the name of my project is Shimmer. It's an open source uh, web app, but it's built on top of Rails. So you need your, your project name, so Shimmer in this case, and then the URL. Um, right now we only support some versions, so that would be rubyforge.org. And it's important that this directory, whatever the final directory of it is, is the directory that actually has the rake file for your project. Um, if you actually put trunk in accidentally in this case, or if you put your project directory ac accidentally, and the rake file is actually in trunk, um, cruise control won't know what to do. So make sure you get that right. So this is actually going to be downloading um, the source to your machine. Uh, project added. Cool. Uh, the next thing is to just start cruise. So there we go. Uh, it's running on our machine. Um, it's running at address localhost 3333 using Webrick, Webrick or Mongo, Mongo in this case. Um, and we can see here build 36 is the current build and it failed. So let's find out why. Uh, this is the cruise control page. You can have multiple projects so if you did there would just be multiple rows here. Uh, this is the dashboard. Um, it always tells you the last couple projects, a uh, couple builds, and um, the last check-in, uh, who checked it in, what their comment was. Uh, in this case, it failed, and we want to know why, so we look at the build log. And let's see, it says, no such file directory, database.yaml, and that makes sense. Um, let's go to Finder. The projects are actually downloaded and kept in a projects directory inside of our cruise control RB directory. So if I go from cruise RB to projects to shimmer, and then the actual source code for the project is kept in work. Um, if I go into the config directory where I know that that database file should be kept, and uh, let's go ahead and copy that and rename it. And let's go ahead and see what's actually in that file. Okay, so for test, it expects a database called Shimmer Test. Okay, so I haven't actually set up the database on my machine, so I'm going to here and go ahead and create a database. Create database. And that should be it. Um, you can actually go ahead and rebuild by going back to the dashboard page of Cruise and just typing or hitting build now. So we'll just give it a sec. Uh, it auto refreshes, so we'll see this little building icon. And cool. So it passed. Uh, this build took nine seconds, all of. And we can see the build log. Um, it actually went ahead and ran migrate scripts and uh, did the build. It, I believe it knows to run migrate scripts if you have a migrate directory and you're a Rails project. 
Otherwise, it'll just uh, run your default rate task. Um, but there we go. Uh, that's installing Cruise, uh, installing a, a Rails project on top of Cruise, and getting it running. Um, yeah, so download it, try it. It's a great project, and uh, please give us feedback.